Warren being classic stab bladder bracket. Here it is. Mike Edwards fought at Parker Ball the third first match. Parker continued his excellence against Riga Kalpas in match two. He's making his TV debut today. Now it's Jason Couch, the number two seed, and arguably the hottest puller on tour against Patrick Allen, who's been also red hot in the second half of the year. Just across the Missouri River from Omaha, Nebraska. Here in Council Bluffs for a second straight year at Thunder Bowl. Eighth time PBA Tour has been to the state of Iowa. Errol Anthony won the first event here. Hawkeye State Classic. Quad Cities Open back in 1975. Wife Kim is here to watch Jason Couch. Number seven, how about that? He's an animal. Go down. That seven pin just got sucked off the deck. I don't even think the four pin hits it. Break every yeah, it's just kind of the vortex just kind of pulled it off the deck. Blowing through pins, just blasting it apart there on the deck. A lot of emotion for Jason Couch. We know the number one seat has struggled because you don't have a lot of adrenaline momentum flowing when you get there. There's a two seat, he's got it already. And Parker's lined up here, Norm, as well. We've got a great match. Yeah, he is. You know, you have one guy that really likes to be vocal and another guy who just likes to strike and run his opponents over. This is going to be fun. You mean I'm going to roll a three pin now? That's what you do, right? That would surprise me. When I get old, I'll get all the breaks. This is the ninth time these two former roommates have squared off with Parker Bone the third getting the best of couch, leading six to t six and two, six wins, two losses. And don't think Jason Couch doesn't know that number. There's a seven pin. They are three and two in finals. Parker Bone the third has the edge there. The last Mountain Valley last year won by Jason Couch. Yeah, this is so close to what Jason did in the first frame, but with that little extra pop on the back end, Jason gets to pull fourth in into the seven. Not so for Parker Bone. He has to shoot the spare. Lydia's ready to the ace hardware matchup. These two lefties trying to establish himself as the best left-hander, perhaps, as you said, top of the broadcast, the best player on tour today. Well, Parker's been great for so long, like we mentioned earlier. 30 titles. Jason Couch, back-to-back -back wins this season. And I know that Jason is trying to make a statement. He wants player of the year. Parker's lived through that. He's a former player of the year. But, you know, there's still a fire burning inside Jace, or, uh, Parker Bone, and he would like to win player of the year just as much as this guy right here. Eight pin for Couch. That's the break I'm talking about. Well, that's a bad break, and we saw Mike Edwards do this on the right side of the lane in the first match, and this is just bowling ball going right past that pin. That's just a lot of power, a lot of revolutions. Yeah, he's talking about the wrong type of break there. You know, I'd be talking about the good ones like that one in the first frame before that solid eight for the left-hander. It's just, it is a bad break. Well, the spare here will still be even in this match early on. The two former roommates, power versus finesse. Eight pin goes down. Great look from our crew behind the pin deck. Now, Randy Norman, I want your take on the second half of the year this guy's had. It's just been incredible. Four shows, two wins. He's now second ranked on tour. He's in the top five in money as well. He's got four top tens in a row. He's just been sizzling hot. Yeah, with the formats the way they are, it's difficult to put together a run like he has. Uh, you know, Tommy Jones did it a couple of years ago. Walter Ray probably more often than most. But here's Jason Couch on a roll. Yeah, it's been a pretty strong start in the second half for this guy. He, you know, he had that great month of January, followed it up with some good weeks where he qualified, you know, right up at the top, but then lost first round of match play. And you're right, because of the format, you know, you can catch the wrong guy at the wrong time. But I can't remember the last time a guy's been as hot as Jason has in the last month and a half to two months. Across the deck, yeah, it taps the seven, but it will stand. Very good year for Parker, too. Another left-hander having a lot of 
success in the second half. Five TV shows. Best for him in some time. Yeah, and what I see here is on the right lane in the first frame, Parker Bones ball looks a little bit early and had to hold flush pocket. Kind of lucky that it did so. He looks like he made a little incremental adjustment. Now the ball doesn't get the seven pin out. That's not good for him. So Randy Parker's had a nice season. Best since 0102 when he made nine shows and was player of the year. He's right up there with a couple wins. Yeah, it, it, a very quiet year, but a, a great year. I mean, the only reason why most people don't know about it is because he hasn't won yet. Oh, no. Oh, no. oh yes. <laughs> Yeah, there is a break, and Jason knows it. That's not going to sit well the way Jason sees it. But look at him. He goes and never fails. Our bonus guy is the luckiest guy on the planet. Just a little cave-in bucket action for the great one, Parker Bone the third. He beats a success there for Couch as he you blasts guys through. You drives me nuts. Yeah, that's, sure. <laughs> that's like brother and sister down there. You know, they've roomed together early on in the career, or Jason's, for a long time. So, Norm, you saw the number there bottom of the screen a moment ago about the first half, second half success for Jason Couch. Jason has told us that he told his wife Kim in the off time between first, second half of the year that he's going to come back with a better mental approach, be a lot more confident. is one thing. He told us last night, Randy, too, that he's done a lot of homework, more so than he's done before, researching oil patterns, and really thinking about his ball selection and layout for his particular tournaments. Well, he knows what it, you know, what's being, what's, what it takes to be successful on the left side, and quite frankly, you got to go straighter, and he knows that. And so he's working on trying to get straighter and straighter. Again, it's difficult. He's got a very steep swing. It's difficult for Jason the way his game is is structured to go that straight but you know what at least he's not sitting back going well i'll just wait for the lanes to come to me he's doing yeah, something about it. he's working at it and you're right he's doing his homework and trying to figure out the best way to play each pattern but right now what he needs to figure out is how to carry the solid eight that. pins on the left lane yeah just awesome shots there to look at the eight pin just very hard to overcome that all 10 down in a big spot. Especially, we have got a great match brewing here. Especially when your opponent is tripping three pins forward and you're leaving solid eights. That just, it's just hard to overcome, right? That, yeah, that doesn't sit well either. That gets a little frustrating. But he does think, and this is fact, Jason thinks that Parker is the luckiest player ever. Yes, <laughs> he certainly does. Now, we, of course, we know that's not true, but Jason thinks so. But when you're good, you're always lucky. But when you're good and lucky, that's tough to beat. He is fifth all time. Denny's PBA Tour history and titles. He's got 30 of those. Jason Couch has 15. One of these two advances to the final to take on Patrick Allen, the number one seed. Which one will it be? Who will the Lord of Lefties be in this match?